Hi, my name is Patrick. This specific video is to help you prepare for CAT in two months. So if you're just starting afresh and you want to prepare for CAT in two months, so this video should hopefully help you with regards to it. So we have two months period. So if you only so less a time, that means it's important that you work on mocks and syllabus simultaneously. You don't have a time to first finish syllabus and then do mocks because mocks are very important and it takes time to you know analyze the mocks, find out where you stand and how to work on it. Also starting with mocks helps you to know the paper pattern, know where your weakness is and therefore you can prepare better if you keep writing mocks. So three sections called DLR verbal section as far as CAT is concerned. So recommend to start with a mock. The idea is so that you know the pattern of the paper. Knowing the pattern helps you to prepare better. So first write a mock so that you know the pattern. It also helps you to know which area is weak, which area is strong and what to focus on. If you are looking at top colleges, you need to focus on weak areas to clear sectional cutoffs. But if you are looking at colleges which has no sectional cutoff, like maybe I am Rotok, etc., then maybe you can focus on strong areas to get an overall high percentile. So decide on a college that you are targeting and based on that you can plan your preparation. Okay, Technically you should spend more time on your weak areas because as I said there is normally sectional cutoffs. So that definitely will help you to you know, clear the sectional cutoff. So the overall weekly plan. Technically in the first month I would say write one or two mocks in a week. Okay, Every week one or two plan. That means do a mock and analyze on the same day if possible. This again depends on the comfort level. So if you're comfortable with the mocks, write two mocks a week. If you will know you're not really comfortable with the mock, then one mock a week is sufficient. So based on your comfort level, how you are comfortable with mock, write one or two mocks a week. The next, next six days you can focus on completing the syllabus and preparing for the CAT exam. Right? That's how you can prepare as far as CAT is concerned. One or two days mock and analysis, remaining five or six days complete the syllabus. In the second month, increase the number of mocks. There are only two months, so in the second month, you increase the number of mocks to two to three days of mock and analysis. So if you're comfortable, write three mocks a week. If not, then only two mocks a week is sufficient. So technically, overall, you will write maybe minimum 12 mocks in the entire period. Okay, Maximum, you may write 20 mocks, which is sufficient, more than sufficient. 12 to 20 mocks is more than sufficient as far as CAT preparation is concerned. And remaining two to three days will focus on practicing. This is mixed sums, not on topics, just the mixed sums from different places. And maybe one or two days for revision of concept. So seven days, two or three days mock analysis, two or three days practice of mixed sums, the way it comes, and maybe one or two days, any concept that you find you need to brush up, you can go to the books and brush it up. That's how you can plan your second month as such. So that should hopefully help. Now preparation time, the days when you're writing the mock, your preparation should be around 7 to 8 hours a day, from which 2 hours will go on writing a mock, 4 to 5 hours will go on analyzing the mock. So you, it takes that much time to analyze the mock because you need to go to every question, see why have you gone wrong, why have you gone right, how can you improve the next time, improvement of methods, improvement of strategy. As a matter of fact, initially one or two mocks may take much more time, later on it could take little lesser time as such. I would recommend one to two hours of reading. That is very important. Reading is important for preparation. So spend that one to two hours of reading, even the days when you're writing a mock, and maybe around 30 minutes for doing calculation puzzles. These are important to get your you know fundamentals right to help you crack the examination. So try to do this every day till the cat. When you're not writing the mocks, other days also prepare for seven to eight hours. Maybe you can prepare for quant three to five hours a day, DLR 1.5 to two hours a day. Reading for CAT. Normally for verbal you need not do grammar and vocabulary because that is normally not asked for CAT. If you're looking at other exams, maybe you can do a little bit of grammar exercises. But else, just reading for 1.5 to 2 hours a day every day is sufficient as far as CAT is concerned. Because verbal is the most important uh, or RC is the most important part of the verbal section and reading should help you in RCs. Anyway, you'll be solving RCs when you solve mocks. So that will give you a practice for RCs. Puzzles for around half an hour, calculation for around 15 minutes. So this is what you can do on the days when you're not writing the mock, when you're completing the syllabus, right? I'll come up with a video in terms of schedule. How do you make a schedule for completing the con syllabus or the DILR syllabus during this period and the verbal syllabus? But yeah, this will give you a broad idea in terms of how to divide the time. I also mentioned seven to eight hours, not more than that, because if your mind is saturated, you will not be able to think better. If you can stretch, maybe nine hours, but I don't recommend more than that. 
because the more your mind is saturated the less you'll be able to think and the less you'll be able to learn for cat exam your mind has to be fresh ensure that you your time is distributed across the day having free time in between during your preparation take regular breaks as i said it's very important to keep your mind fresh while preparing for cat do something that you enjoy something that you're passionate about so that you can have enough breaks in between okay important to engage an activity you enjoy ensure that you make a proper plan important to plan because we don't make a plan your preparation going go here where two months you can't afford that so make a proper plan and then prepare accordingly also day before make a plan for the next day okay make a plan when you complete the syllabus which day approximately also make a weekly plan and make a daily plan so ensure that you have a plan in place don't spend inordinate time to make plans you need to have broad plans as to what you're going to do your daily plan could be detailed as to what you're going to do next day but your monthly and the weekly plan should be broad okay this is broadly what i'm going to cover right i'll also make a video on how to schedule yourself for the con dial and verbal section if you're preparing for two months i'll do that in the next video hope this helps thank you